All right, so another new script from Ricardo, the developer of the Viralux scripts. This one's called Ravella, and it's a contrast enhancement tool. So it'll help you bring out the fine details and some of the larger structure details within your image. He's built it on top of the Outrue's wavelet transform function. And if you're not familiar with that, we actually have that tool in Serial as well. And I'm gonna show you that real quick before we get into the script, but his is leaps and bounds beyond what that tool can do because it's signal aware. So it focuses on the areas that you want to enhance in the image and leaving the noise floor alone so you're not pulling the noise out it's got built-in masking this is another really cool simple tool that does a fantastic job so let's check it out my name is rich and you're watching deep space astro so to install the script we're going to come up into scripts and get scripts Locate the script in the list below, or you can use your search box. It's right here, so we don't need to type in the name since it's right on the top of the list for us. Virilux Rebella. Click Apply, and that's it. The script is installed and ready to use. We are going to be working, once again, on my Rosette data. So I have the Starless version of this ready to go. And that's the first thing we're going to talk about. The script is meant to be used on stretched data and at the end of your workflow or towards the end of your workflow. I say towards the end of the workflow because as you can see here, I've removed the stars. So the end of my workflow is when I put my stars back. The script can be used on an image with stars and we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But my workflow consists of removing the stars, stretching the data, getting it to the point that you see it now. And this is where I'm gonna be running the Ravella script. Before I do that, I just wanna talk about what the script actually is. And it's actually a replacement, a better tool to one of the tools that we have built into Serial, which is up here under image processing and filters. And it's the Outrue Wavelets Transform. So the script is used in the same type of math that this tool is except it's more advanced. It's going to mask off your image and basically protect the noise. We don't want to enhance the noise. We don't want to sharpen the noise and pull it out. We just want to sharpen the fine details and larger structures within our image. But I wanted to show you guys this for two reasons. First of all, just to give you an idea of what the script is doing compared to what this function is doing within Serial. And two, if you are using with this waveless control, the script is going to replace this. So there would be no need to use both of them. But we'll just click execute now and just quickly show you guys how this tool works. It creates six different layers for us. Layer one being the fine structures, layer six being the more coarse data within the image. And you would just make minor adjustments to these sliders. They're very sensitive, but as you go, you can see it's, you know, that's way too much obviously, but it's blowing out the noise but you just have to be very gentle with these sliders. It can be aggravating because you just a little bit too much and the image is all messed up and you gotta bump it back and forth. It's actually better to use the uh, plus and minus buttons to add these, but again, just to give you an idea of, it's the same type of math. You can see as I brought layer four over, it just really crunched all the data, but just to give you an idea of the toll that it's similar to within Serial. So we reset that and cancel it and we're gonna run the script now. So we'll come up into scripts, Python scripts, Viralux, and Viralux Ravella. Just like all of the other Viralux scripts, we have a preview window with zoom in and zoom out buttons. You have a fit to screen view, and then the one-to-one -one is 100% zoomed into your image. Hold your left mouse button down and move around and you can pan. And then you have your always on top button, so if you click outside the script, it remains in place for you. So I am going to maximize the screen just so you guys can see everything, and we'll go back into a fit view and it's very straightforward. Your texture, your micro contrast, is for the fine details within the image, and then your structure is described of more of the 3D volume of the object body, so more of the larger structures, I guess you would say, within the image, and it really is just playing with them. I'll be extreme so you can see the difference, and then I'll back it down to apply it, but if we start with the texture and just move it over to the right, you can see the change it has, but wait for the progress bar to finish before you decide that that's what it's going to look like. I've noticed that as you move the sliders, like if I move this back over to the left, you can see an immediate change in the display, but it's still thinking up here and applying it to the preview, and then it changes a second time. So long story short, whenever you make a change with these two sliders, watch the progress bar up top in the right-hand corner and wait for it to finish before you decide whether or not you like the end result. I'm gonna put this back over to the left again so we can look at the structure volume. We'll wait for that to finish processing. 
And then we'll do the same thing with the structure again, just so you can see the effect that it has on the image. We'll just take it all the way over to the right. And already you can tell it's way too much, at least for my taste. If that's what you like, then don't let anybody tell you that that's wrong. And also with the preview, just like the other scripts, if you hold your space bar down, you can look at the before and then the after. Once again, I'm gonna put this all the way back over to the left to our default settings. No enhancement has been applied. And let's talk about the protection gate. What this does, and the easiest way to explain it, is to enable the show button. This is gonna show you the mask that it has created around your data. Everything in white is where the enhancements are going to take place. Everything in the black is protected by the mask. So it's not going to pull out the noise in the background for you, which is really nice. If you need to make adjustments to this mask, then you do so with the slider. Moving it over to the right will decrease the mask. You can see we have more of the black area and less of the white area. We can go over towards the right a little bit more just to see it again. You'll see it'll get smaller and smaller the further to the right that you go. And then the opposite when you go over to the left. So if we go all the way to the left, you can see that it's really exposing a lot of the background. And that's exactly what we don't want. We don't want to be pulling out the details of the background where all the noise is at. And it'll enhance the noise, which obviously is not what we wanted. Again, just like any of the Verilux scripts, if you double click on the sliders, they go back to their default settings. Once you're happy with the way the mask looks after your adjustments, then you can disable the show button so you can see the data again and then make your adjustments. So I'm going to go pretty aggressive with my texture and space bar do a before and after nice and subtle and we'll bring the structure over about a third of the way see what that looks like so that's before and that's after and i'm happy with that i think that looks really good so we will come down and click process and that will apply our enhancements to our starless image that we have loaded up and we can also do our before and after here so click undo that's before and that's after so like I said, at this point, I'd save my changes and we can come into Python scripts, Viralux, and the star composer, and I can load my star mask up along with the starless image that we were just working on. Bring the stars back in. I'm gonna adjust the color grip just a bit and some optical healing to help with those halos and click process. Just a real quick, because I want to show you guys that you can use the Ravella script with an image that has the stars still as well. So there's our final image with the stars put back in, but like I said, if your workflow does not include removing the stars, then you can still use the script. So if we're coming to scripts, Python scripts, Verilux, and then run Ravella again. Now obviously, any enhancing that I do on this image is probably going to be too much because I did it previously on the starless but I just want to talk about the isolate stars button down here. So if you are using Ravella with an image that contains the stars, you want to make sure that you leave isolate stars enabled. It's on by default, just ensure that it is on because that'll protect your stars to help prevent any artifacts from occurring during the enhancement procedure. So a great script to put those final touches on your image. I really don't think I need Photoshop anymore, to be honest with you. I used to pull it in and do some final sharpening within Photoshop, use the camera raw filter. With these Viralux scripts, I don't think I have a need to go into Photoshop anymore. This is really fantastic. So tip of the hat to Ricardo, once again, you're doing a fantastic fantastic job, man. I know I speak for everybody when I say you're a very valuable asset to our community. So thanks for all your hard work. Before we wrap up, I want to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and I buy me a coffee. I appreciate everybody's support. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member. You'll get free access to my Ciro 1.4 guide. Other ways to support the channel, down in the description below, I have affiliate links. I have a link to my merchandise store. Besides that, simply subscribing to the channel, sharing the videos helps tremendously as well. So once again, I appreciate everybody's time. We'll see you on the next video and clear skies.